FIB's hottest rising streetwear brands for 2019. In the age of influencers and Instagram, it's not sales that measure a brand's success, but its relevance to the scene. As streetwear takes over the fashion world more and more every year, its messaging is vital to making or breaking a brand. Streetwear has always been about using graphics and style as a way to relay messages, whether in a political or social context. Celebrating subcultures around the world. The voices of brands like Supreme and Off-White may be the loudest in the scene, but they are also ostensibly leaving streetwear behind and entering the hierarchy of haute couture. Still, there are many other key players who are pertinent to maintaining the building blocks that streetwear was founded on. While our list may feature some heavyweight brands, it primarily highlights labels whose come-ups are nothing less than awe-inspiring. Our list includes ex subi founding members George Gorrow and Gareth Moody and their brand Non-Type. LA-based brand Born X Raised and their fight against gentrification, Japanese brand Doubtlet's playful embroidered pieces, Keith of Nagel's revival of gritty 90s skate brand Metropolitan USA, MISBHV's post-Soviet rave influence unique cut and sew pieces, Supreme's ex-creative director Brendan Barbenzian brand Noah, Japanese retailer Beams, who just celebrated their 40th anniversary, and many more. In celebration of DIY culture, we've put together a list of some brands making strides for their communities. From Sydney, Tokyo, to NYC, and everything in between, get to know some of the hottest streetwear brands right now. Nontype. Nontype is the latest creation in a long history of design and fashion for its two Subi founding members, Gareth Moody and George Goro. The line is a morphing of genres, a modernist, non-seasonal, non-trend, focused, ready-to-wear men's collection. Sydney-based menswear designer Kaya Daniels is a female creator who knows exactly what style-savvy men want. Daniels manages to craft simple men's staples, cropped casual jackets and tailored cotton pants and crisp collared shirts, in wearable neutrals and in vintage look shapes. But there's an art-inspired slant to her collections an embellished jacket or graphic print t-shirt that gives men the chance to mix in statement pieces with must-have classics. Beams Starting as a small shop in the Harajuku district of Tokyo in 1976, Beams is now celebrating its 40th anniversary. One of Japan's most innovative retailers, the brand's head-turning collaborations has attracted the likes of Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Champion, Levi's, Playboy and more. Beam's recent success was captured by Rizzoli in the recently released Beams Beyond Tokyo. Filled with its most iconic moments, captured by renowned photographers such as Mark Borthwick and Terry Richardson, as well as sketches and essays, the book offers an exclusive look into the four decades of Beams. Metropolitan USA It was January of last year that skate icon Keith Hofnagel announced he'd be reviving Metropolitan USA a 90s skate label he was a part of long before HUF. The label was originally founded by DLX Distribution in 1994 with an impressive lineup of skaters. A milestone of NYC's gritty skate scene, Metropolitan reunites some of the original team members for their new 2018 collection. Dropped just a few days ago, the brand unveils skate staples every rider should have. Some notable items include the half camouflage varsity jacket as well as a classic logo camo face mask. Seeing much success in 2017, Dublé's domestic Japanese quality found international retailers. Debuted at Tokyo Fashion Week, designer Masayuki Ino displayed his exuberant casual wear line to the masses. A combination of embroidery, bright colours, skewed graphics and textured fabrics set Dublé apart. Now, Dublé is back with its high concept Spring Summer 18 Undead Stock Collection. Built on the idea of reworked garments, Dublé used a unique series of techniques such as wrinkling, fray embroidery and patching to express the combination of undead and dead stock items. Born X Raised Born X Raised ideology exemplifies the definition of counterculture from its heritage to its design. Fueled by the frustration of gentrification in the hometown of Venice, California, Spanto redirected this into a message of radical authenticity. Rules in 
and ways to extract us, remove us, and then sell that culture back to the consumer, which is what makes me the most angry because I see so many fucking pilgrims wearing headdresses who show up and they snicker at the Indians. An early graphic of the brand bared a Native American chief with the words gentrification is genocide encircled around it. Every design, lookbook, and video draws on the harsh realities they face during some of LA's gang injunctions. Their struggles growing up contrast the perfect paradise many perceive LA to be. However, without these hardships, they would not be who they were born and raised to be today. Noah. Brendan Barbenzian left his position as creative director for Supreme two years ago to relaunch his brand Noah, which was founded in 2007. Beyond its mark in the fashion scene, the label takes a steady stance on social and environmental injustices. Like most streetwear, Barbenzian uses clothing as a vehicle to express its opinions, even releasing an official statement on why their packaging sucks. Noah's transparency is refreshing and their impact has been positive, proving that Barbenzian is well on his way to building another legacy. Fear of God. It's been a big year for Fear of God, from collaborations with Kith, Vans, Jay-Z, Offset, and now the forthcoming partnership with Nike, Jerry Lorenzo's Fear of God is one of the coolest brands around right now. Rumours of the Nike collaboration were swelling around the internet, but Lorenzo confirmed the partnership just a few days ago. Inspired by the 90s grunge scene, Fear of God's items merge punk, skate, and hip-hop influences. Popular items include satin varsity jackets, flannel shirts, plaid pants, distressed denim, and a broad selection of cozy wear. With the Nike collaboration now confirmed, we're eagerly awaiting to see Lorenzo's hot take on a Nike classic. This will be the brand's sixth footwear collection, having dropped their fifth for both men and women earlier this week. MISBHV MISBHV is a Polish streetwear brand that has been popping up at some of the world's most fashionable stores. From 424 on Fairfax to V Files and NYC, MISBHV made its catwalk to butt this year at New York Fashion Week. Due to its geographical location, MISBHV is often grouped together with Russian brand Gosha Rubchinsky, generalised by writers and buyers alike. However, Natalie Matarek and co-designer Thomas Worski's pieces are truly unique and should not be overlooked. A mixture of post-Soviet flair, Eastern European punk and 80s fantasy, MISBHV draws from 2000s club culture. Seen on the likes of Rihanna, Bella Hadid, ASAP Rocky and more, MISBHV occupies the space between luxury and avant-garde. Chinatown Market Inspired by New York's historic Canal Street, Michael Chernin's Chinatown Market is a new brand built on parody aesthetic. Incorporating pop cultures past and present, Chinatown Market is truly a millennial brand. CM's ubiquitous smiley face has been popping up everywhere. Chinatown Market's most recent drop is an HBX exclusive, heavily referencing some classic cartoon characters like Mickey Mouse, Felix the Cat and the Pink Panther. The brand's quick wit and nostalgia-inducing items are sure to remind you of simpler times. 